what's the difference between the role of a press secretary today and when you held that position? Uh, when I was there, you still had a Washington, D.C. and a press court that to some extent had a pretty significant print media component to it. Uh, I look at that room today, and that's virtually gone. What you have now is a total domination, as we know in our society, by electronic media. And that electronic media includes many forms of very sophisticated computer, internet technology that people work for and have blogs for and report for. And so that has, for me, when I look at it compared to when I was there, uh, when I was there, I'd look down at the front row, and I'd look at the front row, and there'd be Sam Dawson of ABC, Bill Plant of CBS, Helen Thomas of UPI, Chris Wallace from NBC, Andrew Mitchell from NBC, Leslie Stahl from CBS. Now, that is, to me, you couldn't face any better reporters at their craft than those were. They were the top of the line in ability. Uh, and if you could survive that, <laughs> and, and most importantly, maintain your credibility, uh, you had met a real test. So the day I left the White House, uh, hopefully I walked out with my head held high and the respect of, of peers and adversaries alike, and, and hopefully of those reporters. You recently written and published a novel. Can you tell us a bit about it? The title of the book is Ruffled Flourishes. Now where that comes from, the title where it comes from, is there's another phrase, ruffles and flourishes. Ruffles and Flourishes is one of the two pieces of music that is played every time a president appears at a ceremonial event. Two pieces of music are always played when a president enters a room at a ceremonial event. The first one is Ruffles and Flourishes. It's about a, I don't know, 12-note trumpet roll. It goes dun da da dun da 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 dun da da dun da 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 And then it eventually rolls into a separate piece of music, which we all know, and that's entitled Hail to the Chief. Da 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 da. Title of my book is Ruffled Flourishes, which for me is a metaphor on the fact that at the White House, just like in anybody else's business, there are days when things get about 10 degrees off and you spend the rest of the day trying to get them back the other way, the other 10 degrees. Uh, so that's where the, the title came from. And what the book is about is. It's a satire on the, on the interchange that takes place each day between the press uh, and the presidency, mostly as represented by a press spokesman. It takes you backstage and shows you that process, which you, the public, don't get to see most of the time. It, it, secondly, it shows you the humor that you never get to see, which I saw every day. I'd say, there's a lot of humor in this that people never see. And, and if it weren't for that, those fleeting moments of humor, you'd probably go right through the ceiling the pressure so great and the last thing it shows hopefully is why in my view there is no tougher job in the white house than that of the press spokesman and i say that because you have to be responsible to two entities one is 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 the administration you represent but the other is is the white house press corps and you're right in the middle of a taffy pool uh each day and uh that is a very that's a very tough tough position, but, uh, and, and what you have to maintain is your credibility at all times.